If you want to unlock what is arguably one of, if not the best medic rifles in Battlefield 1, you've come to the right place. In this quick video, as with all my weapon unlock videos, we are going to jump straight into the details and I will share my tips to help you unlock both the Fedorov Trench and Fedorov Optical Variants as quickly as possible. If you aren't familiar with the Fedorov Aftermath, it is one of the new medic rifles added to Battlefield 1 that released with the in the name of the Tsar Russian DLC. After getting my hands on this weapon during a live stream prior to the DLC release, I was blown away by just how well balanced and devastating this new medic weapon is. There were complaints about how overpowered it might be, but let's keep that to ourselves and hope it doesn't get a nerf, because in my opinion, in the right hands, the Fedorov Aftermath is just right the way it is. The Fedorov Aftermat was an automatic rifle designed by Vladimir Grigoryevich Fyodorov in 1915 and produced in the Russian Empire. I know I probably butchered his name, but we're here to just unlock the weapon, so let's get back to what's at hand. It was considered to be a lighter than light machine gun by Fedorov, and it was labeled Aftermat, which is Russian for automatic, a term that in today's age symbolizes an assault rifle, which is why the in game description of the rifle is, quote, firing an intermediate power cartridge from a detachable box magazine in automatic or semi-automatic, the Fedorov Aftermath is the predecessor of the modern assault rifle." End quote. The first variant we will quickly discuss unlocking tips for is the Fedorov Trench version. To unlock the Trench version, you must perform 40 kills with the Seyrigati Trench Rifle and perform 40 squad heals. The easy part of this weapon assignment is the 40 squad heals. Make sure to join a squad, preferably one with yourself as the only medic, and spam drop health crates anytime you come across a squad mate or you see a squad mate taking damage. The health crate is a better option than the individual health pack since you want to heal as many squad mates as possible as quickly as possible. Now that's the easy part. The more time consuming and slightly frustrating part of this assignment is the requirement to secure 40 kills with the Seyrigati Trench. The Seyrigati Trench Rifle is a middle tier medic rifle with decent damage. Expect kills in close to medium range with 3 shots on target and a maximum of 4 shots to kill at long range. The Seyrigati Trench has a slight increase in hip fire accuracy than its factory or optical counterparts, so in close quarters you may find yourself having to hip fire to keep your mobility. In Battlefield 1, when you aim down the sights, you greatly decrease your strafing speed. I found the best results when using the Seyrigati Trench to be when I kept my feet planted. Although with fallen teammates around you, there's a tendency to run around reviving, keep in mind that the accuracy seemed to increase with this weapon while standing still. Also, I found that the best accuracy was found by leading targets to make sure that each shot met its mark. You might be best served by keeping most engagements at medium range, taking out unsuspecting enemies with three quick accurate shots. I will admit that in close range against shotguns or submachine guns, this gun will have you frustrated, so maintain distance, keep those feet planted as much as possible, and you should get those 40 kills as quickly as possible. One last and very, very important tip with the Seyrigati is this weapon reloads using 5 round clips. This means it will reload faster when you have fired either 5 or 10 rounds, otherwise each individual bullet will be loaded one at a time, which obviously will take longer depending on how many rounds you've expended. So you've unlocked the Fedorov Trench, what could make this rifle even better? An optical sight. That's right, an optical sight. Let's quickly jump into the Fedorov Optical Unlock Tips. The weapon assignment for the Fedorov Aftermath Optical is perform 50 kills with the Self Slatter M1916 Optical and perform 20 kills with the C96 Pistol. The Self Slatter 1916 Optical provides decent damage and 3 hits to kill at any range, but it has a very slow rate of fire and a distinct recoil. As a result, securing the 50 kills here really will begin to feel like a chore as you will be outgunned pretty much at all times. Taking that into account, you want to take your time with aimed shots to make sure your shots connect on target. 
Stay away from short range engagements. That's key guys, stay away from short range engagements and try not to engage multiple enemies at once due to that slow fire rate I spoke of or you might find yourself ready to rage quit. Unsuspecting enemies at medium range are prime targets for this rifle. It is a grind to reach 50, but each hard fought 4 kill is a very rewarding experience due to the distinct disadvantage this rifle brings to the fight. The last part of the weapon assignment is to require 20 kills with the C96 pistol. The problem is, at 28 maximum damage per shot and a minimum damage of only 15 per shot, that's right, 15 damage per shot, the C96 pistol is one of the weakest class specific secondary weapons in Battlefield 1. I'm not going to mince words here. This C96 needs a buff, right? This thing is weak. It's weak and you will feel how weak it is once you fire it upon enemies that laugh in return. In order to keep each shot as high in damage as possible, use this pistol in close range. One important tip I have for you when using this pistol is the C96 has a high round velocity of 440 meters a second. This means you do not have to lead your targets as much as you would with other firearms. Get that sight directly onto the enemy in close range and try to fire as quickly as possible to get those shots to connect. With these tips at your disposal, you should have the Fedorov Trench and Fedorov Optical Variant unlocked as quickly as possible. If you found this video helpful to you, please rate it because it helps me. Hit that like button. Let me know down below what weapon you're interested in me unlocking next. We are on the road to 2K subscribers. That's right, 2,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any epic gameplay, gaming tips, live streams, and weekly videos I have for you guys every week. It's your boy Rump Spanker. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'm out of here.